Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this particular tutorial, we'll OCR a document and save it back into SharePoint. But before we get into the demo, let's understand OCR. So OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. It is also referred to as Text Recognition. On your screen, you find a document. The document looks like any other document, but there's a difference. If I go and try to find out a word in the document, it will not be recognizable. For example, if I type in June, it is not recognizable. Which means that the document is an image-based PDF. We need to convert this document into a text-based PDF. And we want to do it using Power Automate. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the demo. So here I'm in make.powerautomate.com and let me create a new flow. We'll create an automated flow such that whenever a document has been updated, it will be OCR'd and written back into a different document library. So I'm going to select the SharePoint trigger and I'm going to select when a file is created or modified properties only. Here I will select the site collection and then the library OCR input. Perfect. The next step would be to get the file content. So here I will put in SharePoint again and then get file content. I'll use the get file content action. I'll again pass in the site address and then I will pass in the identifier. The identifier is the output of the action above it. That is the trigger. The next step is where the real magic happens. So I'll select the Mohimbi connector and I'll put in OCR. So I'll use the convert to OCR PDF action. To this action, I will pass in the file name. So the file name will be the file name with extension that is the output of the trigger. The source file content will be the output of the get file content. You can also specify the language. For example, if your document is in French, you specify French. If your document is in Hebrew, you go ahead and specify the OCR language as Hebrew. Next is the performance. The best output comes with slow but accurate. It might be a little bit slow, but it gives you good results. If you want to blacklist or whitelist certain characters, for example, 0 versus O, you can go ahead and blacklist and whitelist those characters. You can use pagination by default it's off, so that's fine. You can also limit the OCR to specific areas. Similarly, you can fail it on error or you can just go to the next action by setting it to no. But we'll set it to yes because we want to have an error if the OCR fails. The next step would be to create the file back into SharePoint. So I'll use the SharePoint create file action and I'll write the file back into a different document library. So I'll write it to OCR output. The file name would be the base file name and I'll add .pdf to it. And then the file content would be the processed file content. I'll name this flow as OCR demo and I'll save it. I'll finally test my flow, triggering it manually. I'll upload a document and this should trigger my flow. So if you see my flow is running and it's trying to OCR the document. Perfect, so the document has been OCR'd. So let me go to the OCR output folder. And here my friends, I see a PDF. Let me quickly open the PDF in the browser. And now let's try to find a word. Let's try to find June, J-U-N, right? So you find J-U-N out here. If you want to find something like United, you can find it. Similarly, you can find out some specific names out here. So what I'll do is that I'll type in this and you see it can be found. So now your document is searchable. So in the SharePoint context, this document will be available for SharePoint search such that it can be indexed and search can, re can return the result when you, when you try to search a specific word in SharePoint. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope that qu this quick demo was informative. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.